Alright guys, so this is just going to be a very off-the-cuff video here, but I was finally able to get this thing working and I just figured that I would show it to you guys. Um, and I'm possibly going to be doing, you know, if you guys want me to, I'm possibly going to be doing a full, like, actual tutorial on how to actually get this, but I'm just going to cut right to the chase. I was able to get the prototype iPhone firmware running on... Uh, my iPhone 2G right here. Now it's not the entire firmware. It's mainly just this whole software interface um, Which is literally what Apple used. I mean, this is what Apple used on the prototype iPhone hardware um, You know when they were actually developing the iPhone uh, And I just think that you know, this is really cool and I don't know, you know, maybe some of you guys will too So yeah, this is it. This is the prototype iPhone firmware or at least one of them uh, I'm not going to be going into, you know, like fully in depth into this software here in this video. You know, we can go into, uh, let's say, phone here, and it brings up this, you know, basic little phone dialer uh, where, you know, you can obviously dial phone numbers. Um, you've got like options for your voicemail and for your, you know, call preferences and all that good stuff in there. We've got an SMS option, which is a sort of like really alpha. Uh, like SMS viewer thing and from what I've heard the two teams the software and the hardware teams were totally separated and this was sort of a like a beta software that I think the hardware team came up with to kind of just test the functionality of the hardware while the like you know, like the actual software team was like actually working on the final um, iPhone OS that obviously shipped with the original iPhone so this was nothing that was actually going to be shipped um, with the iPhone, it was mainly for the hardware team to be able to test all the functionality. And what's, what's really cool, if we go into test tools here, no, it's not that, it's, uh, I forget where it is, operator? I think it's operator, yeah. It kind of brings up this view here of literally you can see all uh, like of the different parts of the phone. So the GSM network, which it's not going to have a signal because AT&T shut down uh, their uh, edge network support I think back in January so that's not going to be on it shows you your Wi-Fi connection Bluetooth the battery status the accelerometer status you know you can see if I kind of move this around it moves the arrows around uh, serial number which is if I can focus in there it's actually a box of Cheerios which is you know kind of funny um, it's got this like actual little camera viewer here which is a like actual live camera view as you can see and it's just basically got all these options here for you to you know basically test all of the functionality on this phone so i mean it's just a a really cool thing and i also thought you know this would be kind of cool because today june 29th is the 10th anniversary of this original iphone right here going on sale it went on sale 10 years ago today um so i thought you know that this would be pretty cool you know like just to show all of you guys um that are you know again really interested in, in this kind of stuff but I think that's going to really wrap it up for this brief little video. If again, if you guys want me to, I'm really thinking about going into a full, like actual how-to video on how to get this on your phone. So if you're interested in that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below. Um, and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.